Hey guys, so I am Joe, for those that don't know me. I am the technical director of uh, here, New Horizon Church. And um, a couple of uh, couple of people have been asking me on how do we route our MIDI controller on our audio broadcast um, setup. And um, yeah, I just wanna make a quick video to let them see how we do this. All right, so let's go, check it out. Let's go see what Mr. Sal, which is our is a part of our team here at the audio production broadcast. Uh, Hello. Yeah. So, so uh, we want to know how do we map this little Korg Nano Controller to uh, to our faders on our Logic. We're using Logic Pro X mm -hmm. here. Yep. So why don't you uh, walk us through real quick? Yeah, so um, like you said, with the Korg Nano Control 2, uh, it retails at about uh, $69.99. So like at Sweetwater, Amazon, you can find it anywhere. Um, which they didn't pay for this. Which we are not sponsored by any of those. <laughs> um, so at, it's really easy. You just hook it up, just plug it in, and we have ours. Uh, connected to a uh, USB hub, powered hub, uh, that's important, so it needs to be powered. Yes. Um, we have a couple other things plugged into it, and then it goes into, gets plugged into the uh, Mac, which is USB-C uh, connector. So we have that, um, and Logic, Macs, uh, they're pretty good at recognizing devices uh, immediately, so uh, how to map it um, is in Logic Pro. Uh, if you go to Control Surfaces, and you'll see where it says Learn Assignment. Uh, don't worry about the quotes thing, but or you can hit uh, Command L. Uh, that will pull up this screen. And if this is highlighted, that's a good thing. Then you just go to any of your faders. You just click on it and then move the fader on the nano control. And as you can see, as I'm moving around, this moves with it. So now it is mapped to that fader. And we, we generally have our uh, vocal mics on the faders, crowd mics on the faders, delays on faders, uh, but you can map anything you need to in that. And you can also map the faders in logic to any of these knobs as well it works for that so um yeah sweet now once the you move the fader do you have to click learned or what does that learn button do uh that so the learn when this is activated means that it's ready to learn what it is you want to map right. uh, so once you're done with mapping everything that you're doing so you have to make sure you click on the specific fader that you're wanting to map and then move the fader or the or the knob on the controller uh, so that it recognizes that and right. once you're done with all of that all you got to do is just hit exit out of that uh, control assignment screen on logic and you're ready to go so sweet thank you you're welcome <laughs> all right guys now you're in the know on how to sync and map a MIDI controller into uh, Logic. And later on, I know uh, there's been comments and questions about regarding how do we connect our audio board into um, our house board so we could get signal. And uh, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. So if you like it, just subscribe and just leave a comment. Or if you have questions, you could just drop them down and I am we will try to just answer as much as we can. All right. Deuce.